the crowd enjoying the action here already. And it's Jeff Morgan out of pole position beside him, Tommy Williams out of three, Wayne Park and Harry Witham out of grid position four. Chris Holmes is with me. Chris, the guy is really enjoying racing at night. Yeah, and there's been a lot of action uh, in that first race. Actually, Wayne Park is off the back of the grid. He's jumped into the spare car. He is absolutely desperate to get some points in this race. Well, this is where the defending champion really does find himself under a lot of pressure. Uh, for those of you not up to speed, what happened? Wayne Park damaged his car. He is the defending champion. And right at the moment, Jeff Morgan now leads the Australian Porsche Cup. It really is up to Wayne Park to try and come up with the goods. He's got to try and get some points in the bag. Race nine here at Calder Park, and that is round eight of the Australian Porsche Cup about to get underway. Guess who's missing from the front row? Tommy Williams, unable to fix his car after damaging it. Bad luck for him. Morgan, though, pedaled down and going for it right at the moment. He's got to try and hold out Wayne Park. Really does want to capitalise on the points score that he already has in the bag. That is Park trying to uh, make some ground as well. Right around the outside goes with him. Yeah, working hard and working Morgan pretty hard right at the moment. I'd say Jeff Morgan really just wants to try and, well, keep it all together and get on with it. Cole Ivory there, P-plate machine. He's new to the Porsche car. He's got himself a pretty competitive car and he's enjoying it. He's quite slowly working his way forward. And that's what it, uh, well, ultimately he's all about. Try and get yourself right to the front. That's what we're watching. Track had himself a great run in round seven. He really did enjoy uh, what he did. I'm sure his sponsor, uh, Paul Little and Toll Express team, they were pretty pleased with uh, with all of the action they saw at the front of the field. Morgan, though, leading with him at the moment. That's uh, Trad in behind him. Then it was Ed Aiken. So, Chris, everybody's starting to uh, settle into the colder conditions. And uh, one thing's for sure, Calder Park, absolutely fantastic. Oh yeah, and uh, those turbo cars, look at Harry with it in the turbo, Ed Aiken, the pink one, another turbo, they're really putting pressure on, look at it glowing red hot under the back of Harry's car. Well this is turbo weather, there's no doubt about that, the air is cold, the turbo's making big power on oh, with them, look at this, charges down the straight here, better than 250 kilometres per hour, and they go for the brakes late, late, late on the brakes, back to third gear, charge out of the right hander into another right hander, then they'll flick left and then head up and over over the rise here at Calder Park and the turbos are glowing, the flames are pouring, action of plenty, Porsche Cup racing at its best here at Calder Park, these guys are turning it on and you can bet Morgan's feeling the pressure, it was trapped the last time around that really worked him over, now it's with him giving him a really big hurry up and have a look at the flames, where's the marshmallows, that's the question, as they charge around the back part here at Calder Park, the cars look brilliant, the paint jobs really do stand out. With him lighting the place up, he's having himself his own little barbecue. And uh, there's no doubt more going to be seeing all of that right in behind him. Here they go, look at with him, he's got the pace, snaps to the inside, goes for the outside. These guys charging down the front straight, as we've said, better than 250 kilometres an hour. The Porsches turning it on here in the dark as they roar down the straight, go for the late brakes. Again, we should see the discs glowing. Not only are the turbos glowing, the flames are pouring out left and right. I'm sure the... Uh, the fire rescue team should be having a bit of a heart attack over all of these flames that are pouring out of Witham's machine. It looks absolutely brilliant. I'm sure it looks big if you're in the rearview mirror having uh, Morgan's view of what's going on. He'd be seeing flames, he'd be seeing headlights, he'd be at a lot of pressure, the heartbeat would be pounding. Jeff Morgan, the new leader in the Australian Porsche Cup, pedaled down and trying to run away from Witham. He's not letting him uh, get away. Here comes straight up the inside, oh, late under brakes. Witham might have the spectacular exhaust flames right at the moment, but it was Tratt with the late brakes. That's what it's all about. Set him up and go through with it. Well, Tratt now, has he been held up by Witham? Can he now push and try and get Jeff Morgan? Well, Harry's a pretty hard charger, and as you see, look at this, he's just come straight back at him, using the power. Traddy's pulling across, trying to shut the gate on him, but Harry's not going to have anything of it, and he's going to have a go down the outside. The man out in front, Jeff Morgan, in the old El Paso Vodafone machine, on his last lap and on a charge, Trap really has got the pedal down behind him, working him over. Now here's where Witham was fast. He really did have some pace. You can see he's caught right up to the behind Trap. One lap, less than a lap now to go. And Witham still pouring flames over everybody, helping get up the track temperature a little bit, I suppose, as they charge up and over the hill, again into another set of S's, and then into the fast back straight here at Calder Park. Hopefully there aren't too many lap competitors between the guys and the checkered flag. It is Morgan, though, on the charge worked hard for this, won't he be pleased, two out of two in rounds seven and eight here at Calder Park. Yep, Morgan on the charge, Trad in behind him as they head for the final right-hander that'll bring them onto the straight. This has been a great race 
The three of them at it with him, just couldn't go on with it. Trat, though, really worked his way out and around. What to do it? There you go, Trat to the inside, trying to hold out with him. It's a drag race. Morgan grabs the points. That's what it's all about. Number one for him. In second place, Trat just holding out Harry with him. A fantastic race here at Calder Park for round eight of the 1995 Australian Porsche Cup. Well, the crowd approved, Chris. Absolutely brilliant action in the dark. The cars look fantastic. The drivers, they will signal their approval. Yeah, sure. I hope I see some more of this. I mean, this night racing really is fantastic. The turbo cars, the, the colours of them, they just, it really does look great. Let's have a look at the point score. Jeff Morgan leading. He's an A-class car on 55 points. Steve Webb now into second place on 48 points in his B-class car, Chris. And Wayne Park, the defending champion, back in third position. Yeah, I mean, after uh, uh, Steve Webb had his problems at Simmons Plains, he's come back and dominated at Calder, picked himself up, and uh, here he is, second in the championship.